Hi, my name is Dr. Surekha Tiwari. I am a practicing homeopathic consultant and a psychological counselor. I have been in the city for the last 20 years and I have been practicing for the last 29 years. I have two clinics, one in VHSR layout and the other clinic which is in ACS layout. Gallbladder stones are stones, it's a misconcept, it's a misnomer. They are not stones. They are basically cholesterol precipitates from the bile. The gallbladder is a reservoir of excess bile. Whenever we have a big meal, a very heavy meal, a very unusual meal or a very late dinner. At all such times, the body clock is not in a position to generate the amount of bile which that particular meal requires. In all these scenarios, the gallbladder releases this extra bile and which comes into the intestines, helps your digestion and helps you do away with this meal. Now, if the gallbladder, the bile which is produced is not of the best quality, then within the bile, there will start the precipitation of cholesterol particles. These cholesterol droplets or particles, they coalesce, they form certain gooey kind of stones. So when you talk about a stone, you know, the, the image of something very hard comes to your head. Whereas gallstones, when they are extracted, they are generally seen as something which is very rubbery. So these gallstones, they can be formed over a period of years. When you get a ultrasound today and you realize oh my god I have a stone it is not that you formed it yesterday it must have taken months or even a year for the gallstone to precipitate so the first premise as I said is for a gallstone to happen in the first place your bile should not have been of the best quality bile not being of the best quality means the liver function wasn't that great so when you want to manage gallbladder stones the first thing is manage your liver the liver has two good friends they are vitamin C and vitamin B. Both these vitamins have been found to be very good reparative motions of the liver. So what you can do is you can increase the vitamin C in your body by having lots of fruits which are vitamin C rich like oranges, like lemons, like amla, like mosambi, any of it. And you can also ensure that that much amount of vitamin C goes into your body which is a little higher than your daily dose. The second thing is vitamin B. Vitamin B is a wonderful vitamin for repairing and especially the repair of your liver. So things like sprouts, like things like uh, green leafy vegetables and things like a little bit of clarified milk. These are very good for repairing your liver. People who have non-veg and they have vitamin B from that source should also keep in mind that vitamin B also comes in a lot of in fat with vitamin B comes in a lot of package. So you have to be very balanced in how you approach this but have vitamin B and vitamin C in higher quantities. The second thing is liver is responsible for emulsification of fats. So try and have your milk and all your diet lesser and lesser in fats for that much amount of time. As we know that fats are anywhere heavier meal. So when you stop taking fats, the general weight of the meal becomes lesser, it becomes lighter and you can absorb it much better. So that's the second thing. The third thing is there are medicines in homeopathy which allow this cholesterol aggregate to go back to a fluid, semi-fluid form and settle down in the gallbladder as a sludge. Once that sludge is formed, there is no chance that a stone can come and give you any kind of emergency problems which gallbladder stones are generally associated with. These days, I've had people even from the allopathic stream prescribing their patients that please go to a homeopath because they can treat. It is we are getting results. Please approach your nearest homeopath and get rid of the fear.